Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to another day of MLB Over Unders with your boy Kirk for Wednesday, July 10th. I'm I'm heating up on the diamond. That's all I got to say. Eight and three in my last 11 plays on the diamond. And I don't plan on stopping now. Really, finally found a good rhythm. And now is probably the best day to hop on. You can hop on a MLB best play of the day, 1999. I'll probably have a three pack up tomorrow. Hop on a three day, seven day. You'll get the finals of the Copa and the Euros. And yeah, I've been hot plus units in the last seven days. I've really just honed in a little and just choosing my very, very best bets for the premium. So yeah, it's a grind during these times in the summer, but I'm still making here, making money. So let's keep it going. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications for when I drop these picks. Free picks have been going a little rough lately. Full transparency. Six games under 500, but hoping to have a two winners here to get closer to that 500 mark. Really love both of these plays today. And also, comment your favorite plays of the day. Well, let's get into it. First game here, I'm looking at the Cubs versus the Orioles. Over under set at eight and a half on the mound for the Cubs is my boy Imanaga. Seven and two with a 316 ERA, 288 away ERA, 281 night ERA. Imanaga on the road at night. Very, very solid this season. Four of his last five starts have gone under the game total of 8.5, which is what this game is set at. And they scored the sixth least runs per game on the road in MLB, the Cubs and they've scored 3.33 runs in their last three games, but they've only given up 2.67 runs per game in their last three, and with Imanaga on the mound, I assume something around three, four runs given up maximum, so I really like this, and the Cubs also have a middle bullpen. They are up against the very, very good Orioles, who have Corbin Burns on the mound, who's 9-3 and three with a 2-3-2 ERA, 178 home ERA. He's been magnificent at home, and he's gone at least six plus innings in every start since April, which is very helpful because the Orioles bullpen hasn't been as good lately. The Orioles score a lot of runs, but they score less runs than they do. They score less runs at home than they do on the road. They also give up the fifth least runs per game at home in the MLB at 3.83 runs per game. Both pitchers, really good night in the nighttime. And Corbin Burns, great at home. Imanaga, great on the road. I think this has to be an under 8.5 at minus 105. I really love the value we're getting here at this under 8.5 as the Cubs are not a good team right now. They can't hit the ball. And if Imanaga does some, just, just even allows three or four runs, I think we still hit this under. I don't even think he's going to allow that many, but yeah, so under eight and a half. Second play here, looking at the Rockies versus the Reds. Over under set at nine and a half. I'm kind of confused by this number because six of the last seven games for the Rockies have gone under nine and a half, and half of those have been at Coors Field where the over unders or where the over-unders are high, but only one of their last four games at Coors Field had over nine and a half. And seven of the last eight games for the Reds have gone under nine and a half. And yes, this is not a great pitching matchup here for the Rockies. They have Kyle Freeland, who's 0-3 with a 6-6-2 ERA on the mound. But in his last three starts, he's only allowed three runs across 19 and two-thirds innings and gone at least six innings in all of those. So that's actually really, really good. But the Rockies score the fourth least runs per game on the road in the MLB at 3.54. They've scored an average of 1.33 in their last three games. The Rockies just can't hit the ball right now. And a nine and a half, that's crazy to me. But anyways, on the mound for the Reds is Frankie Montez, four and six with a 419 ERA. He's been improving, improving, improving all season. He had a 3.55 ERA in the month of June across six starts. And 61.4% of the Reds' home games do hit the under. They scored a ninth least runs per game at home in the MLB, but they also um, allow the 10th least runs in the MLB. So they scored a ninth least and allowed a 10th least. So I'm going under here, under 9.5 at minus 115. This line's just way too high. 
I think we're going to sweep this parlay today. Odds are plus 265. So make sure to sprinkle a little on that if you like these plays. Just to reiterate here, Cubs Orioles under 8.5. Rockies Reds under 9.5. The double under parlay is on tap for today. Let's have some winners. Lock in with your boy on the premium. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.